ஒரு <laughs> Okay. from your arm vein as you are used to giving blood for all various tests on a periodic basis it will be the same thing we will be removing 30 ml of blood and uh, we will be centrifuging it here in the centrifuge here after that we will get uh, a solution called platelet rich plasma okay okay prp etrp is the abbreviated name for platelet rich plasma it uh, contains uh, um, just the plasma with a type of cells called platelets yeah a uh, blood has got semi many cells uh, red blood cells and white blood cells and white blood cells are important to fight any infection like corona mm. so since you have got uh, good white blood cells you are able to avoid corona in the last 2 years it is responsible as a first line of defense for immune mechanism red blood cells carry oxygen from the lungs to the tissues mm. and uh, they also transport carbon dioxide from the tissues back to the lungs where the carbon dioxide is excreted via the lungs while you breathe so those cells are removed uh, and uh, we will be uh, the cell, the plasma when you remove those two types of cells what remains is only plasma yeah and in this plasma the number of white blood cells wbc mm-hmm. will be very low mm. so uh, the ideal type of platelet rich plasma should be amber colored amber mm. amber light you know traffic mm. signal same mm. thing it should yeah. be like that so the uh, we inject uh, prp with very low wbc or white blood cell count of course red blood cells also will not be there you will see that but this solution will be rich in platelets mm. now platelets are a type of cells which are primarily in the when they are in the blood they are responsible for clotting of blood so if you have a wound any tiny wound in your skin or wherever um, the blood come gushes out of the wound but as a first mechanism to stop the blood gushing these platelets come and form a physical block over there then they release certain uh, chemicals uh, for clotting and uh, in addition to their clotting function this is the function of platelets when they are in the blood but when we remove the platelets from the blood we are going to remove it now and uh, when we remove it from the blood and inject it somewhere else other than the tissues they release many uh, kind of uh, chemicals called as growth factors mm. growth factors so growth factors are responsible for stimulating growth in various tissues uh like uh, they have a, a growth factor to cause blood vessels to grow back then they have growth factors to break uh, stop the breakdown of cartilage like that so in your case in the knee joint cartilage is breaking down and these growth factors will nullify the effect of those bad uh, uh, chemicals inside your knee and they will uh, help to regrow the re- regrow damage cartilage so that is what platelets are going to do prp or platelet rich plasma contains so now you are going to watch the procedure please go and lie down there
So we are now connecting the ACP syringe to drop. So blood is flowing smoothly into the double barrel syringe. Now we are going to take blood, withdraw blood in the second syringe. Because we are injecting two V's, we will be withdrawing 30 ml of blood. We have already taken 30 uh, routine number. Now we are going to take uh, another routine number. And we have got one more spot for the next period of time. We are preparing the skin. This is super clear. This is amber color. So this is an ideal color. Ideal color clear. Motion of the blood pressure is very good. We are doing this. We are amber color. This is how we do. Now we are going to withdraw this PRP into the inner. So you can see that the PRP is rising from the outer syringe into the PRP. So you got 6 segments of PRP here. Now we will do it from the second syringe. Okay. Here we are fixed. I'm going to aspirate the superficial fluid into the inner cell. Clockwise. 6 ml of platelet rich plasma. Now, this is lignocaine, and I am going to inject it. Look. Go inverse. Now, the skin is anesthetized, and I can inject the large diameter needle into the joint. So you are getting a fluid here to the I'm sure the fusion present in the heat. Okay, this is PRP, we are injecting it now. Since he did not have much effusion in the left knee, I am going to inject the left knee from the infrapetellar root. This is the second plot of PRP. Another fresh needle. Okay. This is a blind injection. We palpate for the femoral condyle and the upper margin of the tibia. This is spread above the joint line. On the inner side, you have the patellar tendon. 
the needle will go straight in. Okay, now the needle is inside the knee. Tolerable? <laughs> so thank you sir over